Hey guys, and welcome back to Basement Gamer, and welcome to the first episode of PlayStation Plus Roulette. As always, Spencer here, and today we are starting something totally new. So I talked a little bit about it before, how I have a large back catalog of PlayStation Plus games. And so what I did was I took the list of the ones I felt would play best in a video, um, and compiled them into a list. Picked one at random, and today we are playing Skulls of the Shogun. But it's the Bonafide Edition, so whatever that means. I've never played this world before. Or I've never played this world, this game, before. Um, I probably shouldn't talk through this, but it's just a bunch of reading, so... Basically, I didn't read anything about this game, probably should have, but I didn't. So I'm just gonna jump into it, see what it's about, see how it plays, and we'll go from there. That dude is dead. But I bet he comes back to life. Wow, samurais and pirates. It's exciting stuff. Why is the water green? It's a lot of dead people. All right. Guess start. I have no idea what I'm doing. You did. General Akamoto, or the Great General Akamoto. Can't be that great if you're dead. Ow. What am I playing? Alright. I love that it just keeps flashing my name. Like I didn't know. It was me fighting. So I can press square to confirm, or I can press X to confirm. I'm gonna go with X. I should've gone with square. Riveting.
Guy's name's Yoshi. Uh, I hope we can hit that guy into uh, into the water. I could. <laughs> what? You use knockback to push a unit over the ledge and kill them instantly. I hate when games do this. This is so annoying. Well, I see why this game was free. I don't know if I like that they're trying to give it a story. Yeah, and these things have a stutter. This is awful. Approximate wait time is 512 years. Hilarious. No. This is Sparta. I will have my eternal reward. It's his eternal reward. And he'll have it when he needs it. Oh no, I think I pressed through that a little too quickly. I'm not catching up on all of the, the story. Those two guys just lost their spot in line. 50 rice on Mr. Mustache. Seems a little culturally insensitive, but... Honestly, I didn't think getting through one level of this would take as long as it is. So many orders per round, too. Dude's gonna die so quickly. do a complete playthrough of this game. It's really fun. <laughs> he moves like such an idiot. Messed up, didn't hear what he said. Eat the skull. I'm on blue team here. Yeah, I'm on that guy's team too. It's one of those things where just waiting in a line for that long is so awful that
I didn't even see how I got a game over. I'm assuming my main general died. I wonder if there's a way to get more orders, since you only get five. I wonder if I actually really care. So I should probably just focus on killing this dude now. Just gang up on him. If he dies, your game is over. There you go. Confirmed. Hit skull. Heals that unit 3 and boosts their max HP by 2. So how'd he die? What the heck, dude? What if they start eating our team skulls? Like, shouldn't they be allowed to do that? Hmm, this game has a lot of flaws. Eating a skull would heal me. Cool. Brag about it. Dead. I'll die, but it's worth it. I didn't kill him, so that wasn't worth it. Crap. Killed him. I missed. Come on. This game is... Probably a 10 out of 10, to be honest. Actually gonna quickly do a little Google search. Skulls of Shogun. Okay, I was joking when I said it was a 10 out of 10, but it actually has a 10 out of 10. online. Just kidding. It has a 9 out of 10 on Steam, which is utterly ridiculous. So, must have been free. And people played it and were like, thanks for making it free, Steam. Uh, got a 7 out of 10, though, on IGN. So, get an emblem. Oh, boy. Mildly peeved. This game is making me mildly peeved. Beat level with at least four allies alive. Did I do that? I don't know what this is saying. My rank is 8,203, which is sad that 8,202 people have played this game at least. Wait, beat level with at least two demon allies alive? I don't know what that means. What? Like how if someone beats you, and your whole team loses, how if you beat the other team's big guy before killing everyone else, you win. You get that. Oh, okay, so Shelby understands this game better than me. That's all that that's all that that meant. God. Alright, out of fairness, that was a, more of a tutorial level, so sometimes tutorials can be slow and annoying and all that good stuff. So let's see, and we're still talking. But let's, we'll give level 2 a try and see what we think. Yeah, he, was, he was right. No counterattack. Good job. Move me away from this edge. No. Don't break the fourth wall and talk to me while I play. Thanks. Thank you very much. Try and tell me what to do. 
Oh, did you get knocked off the edge? No, so quit your bitching. Can you imagine if my leader would have gotten knocked off the edge? That would have been hilarious. Especially because he's like 10 times bigger than anybody else. So it would have made sense for a small little arrow to shoot him over the edge. I should have eaten that skull. So someone pretending to be good old Lord Akamoto is the one trying to kill us? But what if we're the one pretending to be Lord Akamoto? Can't shoot the guy point blank, do like triple damage. Oh, okay. Let's get a little strat going down here. Now they form a spirit wall. And I still can't. Perfect. I just have a little archer to worry about. Oh no. Oh, just in range. Boom! And only, go team! I like that, that was cute. How many of these skulls? Can I just eat them all? Yes. Eat three skulls to turn into a demon. Oh. My. Lanta. This game has trophies? Game changer. This game is actually a 10 out of 10. Um, you can start checking out my trophy guides starting next week. I'll be putting them out. It's officially the best game ever. So that's what it meant by get, like, turn into a demon or whatever it was saying. Did I? Didn't mean to use a turn on putting them there. Because I just put them farther away from everything. But. Okay. Ow! Ow! They just moved with him twice! It's not fair! This game's bullcrap. They're in bushes. It's lame. Why do I not do more damage as a freaking demon or whatever the hell I'm called? Look at his nose. Why does he all of a sudden have a nose again? That's so weird. All right. I can actually see the fun in this game. The playability in this game. And the, it's a game for sure. Oh, of course it'll stay alive. I can attack twice? Game changer. Probably told me that, actually. There's still a third guy there? Yes, okay. Fight. 
cowards hiding in bamboo. I kind of want to see what an archer turning into a demon looks like. Oh, well, my archer died, so I guess that's not happening. I missed. My rank on that level was 43,734. Again. This game has up to four player multiplayer though. All right. Definitely could see it possibly being a little more fun. Uh, if you had like some bros or some hoes, <laughs> uh, I mean, overall not terrible, I guess. But I don't foresee a full playthrough coming out anytime soon. If it's something you guys actually want to see, then I would entertain the thought, but I'm thinking no. So that's it for episode one of PlayStation Plus Roulette. I'm going to go to the random generator and find out what the next game will be. Find my spreadsheet. That would be great. All right. The next game for PlayStation Plus Roulette is Bombing Busters. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Bye.